kick. Oh, what's up, my Baldwin's Baldwin 217 here. And I'm starting a new series. And I know I've already said that before, but I'm actually doing it this time. I'm doing an NBA 2K15 creation with a point guard. With a 6 4 190 point guard. And I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I never really got into it before, but really wanted to do it this time. So let's let's get started. So as I already said, I'm going to be a point guard. And for my desired team, I was going to pick the Warriors because I already had the Warriors colors, but I decided to pick the Cavs because I love them. And just good luck to you in the finals. So I picked voice one. You're not going to hear it, but that's what I was doing. And 6'4", as I said, and 190 pounds. And for my muscle tone, I'm going to be ripped. Because look at that six-pack. Who doesn't love that? That's amazing. Okay, so for my nickname, ever since NBA 2K13, I've been the baddest one. So that's going to be my, my nickname. And for my number, ever since NBA 2K13, again, I've always been 28. And where I'm from... Well, I'm a ball one, so it's got to be BC. And I am right-handed, and my dunk hand's going to be either. Uh, and born in 1994. So my wingspan is 105. My body length, I'll change it to 103. And then my shoulder length will be 105 as well. So I'm a stocky 6'4". So, um, and I also had just forgotten to put on subtitles, because I know you guys love that. So uh, let's just let's get this started, guys. Finally. There's my guy. Your guy? Your guy? Your guy was told by his agent that he was going to be a late first round, maybe second round draft pick. Your guy's supposed to be in New York with the rest of those chumps. Your guy, your guy's about to blow his freaking lid because his dream of being in the NBA is still just a dream. Hey, chill, man. I know this isn't how we wanted it to go down. Believe me. Like I told you, you're my last best hope at the agency. If you wash out, I wash out with you. But I was thinking. Maybe this was the best thing that could have happened to you. How you figure that, genius? Better to go undrafted and have a choice than to be picked late by a stacked playoff team where your chances of making the team are about as high as my chances of dating a supermodel, which, despite my contagious charm, are pretty freaking slim. So what's the move, man? This just affects our timing, okay? You just gotta keep working hard and be ready. Injuries, overhyped draft picks. Sooner or later, players are gonna wash out and they are going to call you. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Good. Remember, Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team and made fools pay for it the rest of his career. Use the draft day slight as motivation. A chip on your shoulder at the beginning of a long journey. And like every journey, this one begins with a single step. So your first step, is to keep working hard, and we'll find you a home before you know it. All right, man. I'm believing in you, bro. Make it happen. Undrafted? Basketball has been my life since day one. What am I going to do now? This can't be the end. Is my dream really dead?
Okay. I know you've been staying in shape, working hard on your game, waiting for your shot. Yeah, so when's that gonna be? Because you told me not getting picked was a good thing. It was. It was. This is America. Freedom of choice and all that good stuff. And that is why I'm here. Now is the time. Teams are able to offer 10-day contracts at this point, and I've been on the phone nonstop. There is some definite interest in you. What's that mean? I get to pick where I want to go? Whoa. <laughs> It's not that easy, my friend. Uh, but there are several teams willing to give you a, a little tryout, see if it makes sense for them to sign you. Listen, man. First of all, you're not my friend. You're my agent. And second, where's the list? Because I'm ready to play. Keep in mind that these teams have varying levels of interest. If you want the 10-day deal, you're going to have to work a lot harder to impress some of these teams than others. Man, I don't care about that. Where's the list? Okay, here's the list. Let me know where you want to go and I'll make it happen. So Baldwin's, when I was going through this list, I didn't have a team in mind. So I was kind of looking around the B minus B ranges. I'm certainly not going to get the A plus and the A. So I was looking at the B minus teams and I really didn't know if I wanted to go after one of them. So I'm like, okay, which team do I have a chance of winning the title for? And I was looking at them like, there's no really great team. So then I started going down and I saw the B teams and I saw the Atlantic Hawks. I thought they were a, a pretty good, good fit for me. So I said, why not? Let's take a chance. You handled yourself pretty well at the pre-draft workouts, but that's not quite the same thing as playing with real men in the NBA, now is it? Now listen, we don't bring guys all the way out here because we don't think they can contribute to this team. We've got a good mix of veterans and some young players here, but we could always use some fresh legs and some game. You'll be running with the twos against the ones. So let's see if every GM in this league was wrong for not drafting you, because if you prove you belong, all the talent evaluators were idiots. Oh, I belong, all right. Ain't no doubt in my mind, coach. So now we're back, and this is my first time down as a new tryout for the Atlanta Hawks. And I'm trying to set screens, because that's, that's mainly what you want to do. But I didn't end up getting it, but we still got the bucket anyway, so it's all good. So now the uh, start is coming down, and... I swear Damari Carroll just took it right out of my hand. And I thought I played good D there and I thought it was going to give me something, but it didn't. But I don't care because my boy Ken Bazemore's dunking. That's always a good sign. So now they're going to come down and starting up on Teague. I get missed. I don't get missed. I missed. That's, that's what it is. Anyway, so there's a nice screen there and I completely missed the doink. Look at Jeff Teague missing a dunk. So now we're coming back down and uh, Cephalosha, I'm gonna try to set a screen for him. I do, he ends up getting to base more, hits a three, and no, no he doesn't. Now they're coming down, Carol gives it to Teague, Teague coming down, I miss him again, nice block. And, uh, you're, why are you grabbing it out of bounds, but that, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. It was a good block until, you know, of course he stepped out of bounds. But anyway, they're going to pass it around. Damari Carroll is going to miss that. So now I'm going to get it. And we're coming down the court. I'm going to step back. I'm going to cross. I, I don't like these. I end up changing the the crossover and all that stuff later. But look at that teamwork. Look at that ball movement. That was, like, perfect. Looking like we've been playing for years. So anyway, they're going to come back down and... He's going to take his old time and give it to Paul Millsap, who's going to shimmy. And takes the weirdest shot. I, I don't know what that was. Anyway, I'm going to get it, and I'm going to try my first ever shot, and no, no, that doesn't work. But I'm coming down, and I'm going to shoot a three and miss it. Look at Paul Millsap coming in for the putback. I sound like I'm happy. I'm really not. 
But I, it doesn't really matter if you win or lose in this game. It just matters about that team grade. But uh, nice. Again, Bazemore just hitting all these threes. He was on fire this game. Let's try it, rather. But uh, Cephalosha, he's going to take it. He's looking around. I finally get smart and decide to set a screen for him. He's going to pass to me. I'm going to hit a three. No, I don't. No, that doesn't work. Anyway, they're coming back down, and Corvus up here. He's going to pass to Teague, who's behind him. Teague standing, waiting, passing it to Millsap, who's also going to wait. Pass it to Teague, he's probably going to wait. I'll pass it to Carroll, he's going to hit three, and no, he doesn't. So Scott's going to give it to me, and I'm going to pass it to Basemore, who probably should have shot it right there. I'm going to give it to Cephalosha, because he is going to shoot it, and... Probably shouldn't have given it to him because, well, he's not going to make it. But I have my grade. I have my B. T's going to miss that three. And I, these people, they just don't like me getting the rebound. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting posted up. And I pass it to Baysmore. Who's going to hit the three? That's great. That's an assist. I got a B plus. I'm above where I'm even supposed to be, because I was supposed to be a B. So let's listen to Coach. Well, you headed. Oh, the locker room shower up. Good. I just hope none of that game you just showcase washes off. Huh, what? Man, this stuff don't wash off. It's part of who I am. It's in my DNA, yo. Easy. Your jersey ain't in the rafters yet. Yeah, but? But you lit it up out there. And everyone in this gym, including the GM and the head man, saw it. All right, so what's that supposed to mean? It means if there's any way to get you here, we're going to do it. Now get out of here. We'll be in touch. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Move, man. What are you doing? We got our foot in the door. The Hawks have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days, 240 freaking hours to show that you belong. You perform, you got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season. We both live to breathe another day. You don't, you got a shot at being last in a long line of might events. And I'm probably out on the street too. Living in this rat hole. Hello, rat hole? This is all I can afford because you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer upper. Now pack your bags. We're going to the show. Yeah, boy. I'm going to the league. I got my foot in the door, and I'm going to kick this sucker down, man. <laughs> you better. I don't want to ruin any more suits sitting on these vermin-infested couches of yours. Man, it's my house you're talking about. Finally, I'm in the league. You did well in the workout and in the scrimmage. He's a baller. You give him a legit shot, and he's going to make the most of it. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one. Ten days, my man. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. He might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, he's back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Good. Get out of here. You too. Alright, Bowens. Hope you liked that video. Like and subscribe if you want more. Stay frosty. Gah!